Hello everybody and welcome once again to Lost Souls. As you can see in my hand I've got some food. Actually it's food, surprisingly enough, and the other's a big compressed hammer. Which is a bit weird, isn't it? That food looks enormous. <laughs> it looks like a weapon. Well it's not. Anyway, let's start with this episode. So I've got some more tips. Um, actually we'll do the first tip. I got the same tip. I think I got it from Creator Aid and Psycho Nightmare Mangle to make a bow. And in fact, it says any bow. So let's go make any bow. Because we then complete a quest. Now I've actually got some arrows. It makes what sense to make a bow, doesn't it? So sticks and string, basically. Some sticks. I've got plenty of sticks. Just need some string. And we've got plenty of string. We just need three. And we'll just make a straightforward Minecraft and if I can remember the recipe, it's still that one. And it is. That should actually complete a quest. Right, let's do that first of all. And I think it's a survival quest, wasn't it? Bow. So it is complete. In fact, it says tool bow, which I reckon it means any type of bow. So there we go. I'm not going to take the chance. Oh, let's get both. Claim that. Done. And. Let's have a look at this as well. I think we need to do some more better with mod stuff. Now I've completed this. We've basically got to do this, windmill and axle. So we can make the axle first. But first of all, let's open this chest, see what we get. Blacker locus emits a strong magical vibes, Britannia. And it's rare, okay. No idea what that is. Let's put it into the, uh, the chest here. And let's also put into the chest the other chest, the chance cubes. Actually, I'm keeping those over here in the, in the crate, aren't I? Chance cubes nine. So, obviously, I think to do this stuff, wherever I've put it, I think I dug it up, didn't I? Um, to do the saw, I've got to make a windmill. But first of all, we've got to do some sieving, and that actually comes, brings me up to something else. If I'm doing some sieving, so for instance, I've got some gravel here in my hand and I want to put this is, these are compressives and these are not compressives these have got iron stiff and mess in them if I put one in here it goes into all four like that I'll finish off with apples and put some more in it and then you get the minerals from that and my inventory is already full I can see so let's just get rid of those before I try and do anything else and a diamond as well, well and it gets spread all over the place. In fact, what I need to do is some flint stiff and mesh. So what I'm doing for flint stiff and mesh, let's just get rid of this. I probably haven't got anywhere to put anything. Oh, I've still got some space in here. Let's get rid of the gravel and the cobblestone. And I've got some compressed gravel here. Now, when you do compressed gravel, it doesn't work the same way. It only does one. It doesn't do the whole lot. So you actually can get, we get a speed up of about nine times. But we actually only get seven times a reward of that. So if you look, for example, let's look at uses of this one. If we look for sieving, it says you get seven times 30%, but you've used nine, nine times material, because what I'm actually looking for is hemp, by the way. In fact, it would probably be a good idea just to get rid of everything I've got on me, like that, and I want the ores back again. I already got a six hemp crate. Might be all I need actually. Um, the reason I need the hemp is because we got to make those axles. I don't need. I don't really need the the ores just at the moment. Let's, but let's carry on sieving this stuff out. So if you basically what I was trying to say, if you've got precious stuff, then it's probably a good idea. So I've, like for example, compressed gravel is not really precious stuff. But if you've got something like um, ground netherrack or something like that, and you want to save that, then it's probably better doing it on this, the non-heavy duty, the heavy oak sieves. Let's have a look. Right, I've got nine. That'll do. I think we'll have nine will be enough because what we need. So I'll put those into here. In fact, I can put them in like that, and they will actually grind up the one that's actually in here. 
And I think I need around about six more. There it goes. And of course we need to eat. And my food's run out. Tell you what we'll do, we'll put the apples in there. I've been using the apples to make dirt. don't have very good saturation the apples. How are we doing? Another one. Should sort it out. Now we got some more. I think that's probably what I think I've got enough because I already did some that I did some yesterday evening. And I should have got some of those just to have a look. We've got ten plus sixty-four. So let's make our axle now. Um so we need to make an axle and I think that requires one of these so let's just Click that into place. We got that one, so I can make a dozen of those. That's good. And now we should be able to make the axle. Let's have a look at the uses of that. And it'll be a straightforward crafting recipe. It is. Let's have a look. Can we put that one in there? Yeah, we can. And we can now make our axle. And I think that'll complete the quest. Let's just check. How many have we got to make? One. Oh, and I'm going to make three axles. Okay. Well, that sort of makes sense. So let's make another three of these. That's why I have to make some more of this. So we need uh, six, isn't it? Let's half that and half that again. Put one in. That'll make three. Fortunately, I'm going to need another 60, 14 of those to do that thing. In fact, I only need two, didn't I? Never mind. We'll keep the other one. In fact, I've got a feeling it actually works both directions. We get our six hemp fibers back again. We'll take those. So now we've completed the quest axle. Let's go and have a look at that one on the, on the quests. So we have a choice reward. We'll take the two loot chests, claim done. And then we opens up windmill. So we've got to make a windmill. So place the window on your axle in the gearbox so it'll start to turn. Then you can place the mill in any block beside it to your power. That's fair. That's actually not too difficult. In fact, I have got enough then in that case for that. There's a I'm not sure where he is. Let's have a quick look outside, see if I can hear I can hear him like crazy, so. And I put some more torches down here. Oh, I've got my minimap on. I think that I turned it off. Control J. Oh, don't see him. He's probably behind somewhere. If he's behind him and get him on the gold spikes, we can get a bit of XP from him. Oh, there he is, look. And sure enough, I just saw a... Uh, he might be able to see me if I'm lucky. Oh, he's gone down. Where is he? He's trundling over there. So you might be able to get that. I can't get that sulphur. I do have a way out of here actually, which is, should be safe against Juggernaut. But he's very fast these days. I've got. I think as I've increased my exper experience, he's got faster. There he is. Look. So if I go over here. Where's he gone to? I'm hoping to get him over towards these spikes. Oh, he's over that side there. And he can't see me, of course. But I don't think he can come through that hole. It's too complicated for him. He doesn't have that much of a stronger AI. So, right. So that's that job. Part of that job done. Let's open up these loot chests. Let's put the stuff away that I've got. Because I'm going to fill up my inventory one way or another, won't it? In fact, I can't put everything away. Because I've got 64 lead already. Um, all right, I'll leave that. In, I'll leave that in there for the time being until I can do something with it. So what we get in this loot chest anyway? 
10 gravel, fantastic. And seven water, uh, seven melons, even better. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe I should have taken the chance cubes. <laughs> Let's put the gravel in there. And I can get rid of it. Oh, I did. Yes, of course, I picked up that, didn't I? Because I went around to pick it up. Thanks, too. I'd like to make an absorption hopper, but I can't. I'm not sure how I'm going to make obsidian at the moment. Anyway, paper. That's something else. Let's have a look at paper. Paper I've got from um, farming sugarcane as the usual recipe for sugarcane. But let's just try this. The rice seeds are growing, but these aren't growing. I've got a feeling I have to do something else about those. Uh-oh, I see him. I've got to run. Let's get a block in my hand. I'll use this one, and then let's go for it. Whoa! What on earth happened there? And he's not even a magic one. I think what I can do now, I probably can shoot him, can't I? Oop, right, that's a bit of lot like that. Well, yep, I can definitely shoot him, alright. So now we'll see how much hearts he's got when he comes back down here. into his space so you can see he's well over he's got lots of hearts you can't see him anymore put down a torch how did I do that oh there's the torch arrows oh yes of course <laughs> right and what I did is I put down some um, crafting tables here instead of the usual thing because they actually don't burn yeah, there are two of them around. But what exploded? Okay, we ignore them now. I only got one piece of sugar cane. Anyway, it's a bit of a shame. What you have to do with sugar cane is you put it on drying, a drying rack like this and it'll dry. And th from the dried sugar cane it'll turn into paper. Should have got more than one piece of that. Maybe it got blown up. Right, let's make the windmill now. So, he's telling me you have to make a windmill. Look, normally you'd make a vertical windmill. But I know there's been some problems with the windmill. So we need four of these. So we need some hemp fibres. So I can make six. Is that going to be enough? That's going to make one. <laughs> And some slabs of wood. And the slabs I've got plenty of. So it looks like I've got to make a lot more bits and pieces to finish that off, haven't I? I need three slabs. Well, that's definitely something for the next episode. I thought there was a cheaper recipe than that. I was looking at this, and that would make one, so that would be eight. Uh, okay, yes. Yeah, I miscalculated by about a factor of six, I think. Let's go back. Let's see if we can make this now. One. So I've got to make some more of those. I've got a lot of sewing to do a lot of, between episodes, I reckon. So I shall do that. I'll also do this bit here and get rid of those. Hmm. So the next thing is we can make some more bits and pieces. I don't think I've made a stone hammer yet. I just have what I've, a stone wand is what I've got to make next, isn't there? There was another quest for doing that. So we can make a stone wand. Oh, that's pretty cheap. We can make one of those. I think we only have to make one. We should get a quest completed. Yeah, stone builder's wand. Let's have a look at that quest as well. And I think it's not tinkering. I think it's probably no immersive tech. No, we need to do that one as well. That's pretty important. 
Where's it gone to? Better with mods? No. Oh, we can also do the crucible. We should do that as well. Where is that? Huh. Tell you what I haven't done. I haven't done these either. Let's claim that. Done. And survival. Let's do this one so I don't forget to do it. Claim. Done. Let's load that, those things. That's strange. Flint hatchet has been... Why has that gone red all of a sudden? Because I've definitely done a flint hatchet. That's a bit strange. But the rewards have changed. I don't think so. Because I remember claiming those before, so... Hmm. Okay. I'll leave that. So I'm certain I've done it already. I can eat while I'm thinking about things, can't I? So where's that hammer gone to? I know I've seen the hammer on those quests. It's not there. Those are the those are the spikes. Actually, they've changed the order. Stuff and things. Ah, oh, here we go. Stuff and things. So we got an item reward, factory books, and a loot chest. Great. I click claim that and done that one. So next we'd make an Iron Builder's Wand. I suspect that's going to be just as cheap as well. Let's have a look for Iron Builder's Wand. Yep, just one ingot of iron and I have no shortage of those. I don't actually know why I didn't do these earlier, to be honest with you. Let's, let's kill these quests off and you never know, might get something really good. Yep, so let's claim this one. Seven watermelon. I think I'm going to start taking chance cubes. <laughs> I have pretty useless rewards I'm getting at the moment. <laughs> and blaze powders I put over here. Well, right. Um, let's go back to the quest. So let's let's do the claim that one. Done. I hope, I hope that one gets a bit better. <laughs> Five hay bales. Basic. You know. I'm actually not sure if that's a good one or not. Let's have a look at the uses of that. Yeah, it'll give me nine wheat. Or a feeding trough for farming with block heads. So it's probably got some uses in it. I've got wheat growing now, of course, as you can see. Let's put that in the let's put those in this chest over here. So I can actually claim my get my wheat. Get wheat and a seed. And then I can break the, the melon again. Axe. Another melon, and they just it just sort of multiplies up over time. Let's put those in there. Actually, I don't need to put those in there because we've got another space for those. Um, and wheat, yeah, I'll put the two in there because I've got I'm collecting wheat in there. And fat seeds, I'm putting in there too, aren't I? Let's go and put the melons in the other place. And as you may not have noticed, that has now turned into paper. Right, let's do the immersive tech stuff because this is pretty important stuff. In fact, looking at the map, I'm going to do something else as well. Let's get rid of these <laughs> death points that happened last night when I was playing around, trying to get some stuff. And I also want to show you another area as well. So I think we've got time for that today. So immersive tech. Let's have a look at that quest again. I'm not going to do... Done. Diamond. We get another loot chest. Um, I'm just wondering what we got in here that's got so much of. Right, okay, let's have a look at that. Sorry, I'm distracted again. I do need some. I, knew, I do need some iron. I think I need two pieces anyway. So let's try that. I think the first thing we need was a book, or was it a hammer? I think it might be the immersive tech hammer that we need. Let me double check it. This will be that one if it is. Engineer's hammer. Sticks. Ah, oh, we can do the engineer's hammer. Before I do it though, let's just double check that quest because I'm going to... I want to do this one because this is important. Cause it... Oh yes, yeah, so we need to make an engineer's manual as well. And the engineer's manual, so let's take the hammer out of that one. And we need an engineer's manual. That's why I got the paper. Nine thousand three hundred twenty-two have made the advancement. H A M from 
Good. That was a well done. Got that right, didn't it? Um, so we need some leather. I've got some leather in. Actually, we'll take this leather out of this one. I've got some leather anyway. So let's just craft those up into normal leather. I think it's just like that. Okay. And then we can make a book. And I hope that the book recipe hasn't changed. We'll see in a second. Oh, it has changed. Great. Okay, so that we need the um, Atomos of Engineering. <laughs> engineering manual this one so it's a book and a lever lever's no big deal oh, i've got to use tan leather leather for that have i what's this a filament in a cauldron whatever i do i've got to go to a cauldron actually that would be cheaper let's do that one okay glowstone redstone and a i haven't got very much glowstone but to scour leather is also a pain, so we always suppose we could do the scoured leather, can't we? Let's just get that going. That also means I need some bark. Because I've got so much wood, the bark's a lot cheaper. There we go, scoured leather. So let's get the leather out I've got that piece of leather in there so now we need a um, some bark so some bark we need some wood and I think I think that was probably the best recipe for it. that one is better with mud so we should probably we get from a sawing it yeah indeed and this is the one we can use so it's just the knife the only one we can use that's good I thought it might be the knife so and that should be I should be able to do that on my own Thing, and I think it was five pieces in my own crafting. We'll do five. So that should give us enough now to make the leather. Let's go and do that. Let's have a quick look around, see if there's death is around the corner there. No, good. Oop. Ah, I've got that. Being attacked by an invisible mob again. Woo! That's really weird, that. Not only does it explode, but... It, oops. Now he's got through there, which is really bad, because I'm going to have to come up back here, get into here as quick as I can. Oh. Ah! Whoops. Okay, I messed that up. I should have stayed there, shouldn't I? But it's, uh, let's just get some wood out of here. I can trap him in then. I've got another brick, so no, I'll just get some, I've got plenty of wood in my, my, in here. Let's just get him trapped into there. So let's put them down like this, on top. Oh, he can't get through that way, can he? Can he get around here? I don't think he can get around here now. Let's put that on there. Oh, he's got out. Has he got out? Actually, I don't think he can get out. He's gone up the top there. So, now we just need to sort him out. It's going to be a bit more of a challenge for me. That's how I'm going to do that. I wonder if these wands work. Well, I'm just thinking how I can do this now. Oh, there he is, look. Let's see if I can shoot him with a bow. Why don't you see me when I'm shooting with a bow? Well, there you are. Revenge at last. So I'm holding shift when I was, I was holding the your excavation key when I was doing that. Right. Oh, look at all this. It's all burnt it down. That's actually bad. I'm going to have to repair that again. Well, at least it's not too much of a problem. 
doing that. So we got we got a ton of them now, my goodness. It doesn't take long to repair, but I'd have preferred it not to have got burned down in the first place. <laughs> I've got rice. Let's go and do something with rice. Let's just collect that up. Have I got any space in my inventory? No, I haven't. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put some stuff into there that I'm not going to use for the time being. Really, I want... I'll put that one in there. And we'll get the carrots as well. And I'll take that one if I can get it. Of course, I've got my bag is still full. Wow. What I've had a thought about is... Um, hold on, I've got... My train of thought again. Let's just put that away. Get rid of those things. Right, let's get this book sorted out and then we can actually get some white, some progress on that one. Oh. Is that not right? Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Is that one lever? I need a piece of gravel. Oh, it's a cobblestone. Do you believe it? I've got no cobblestone on me. Oh, it was actually... One of those deaths that actually happened in, in here. Look, how did he get in here? He must have spawned in here, but he kind of got through the door because the door's been closed. Well, I don't think he has. Well, anyway, what happened yesterday, one of my deaths, was because of... a. Um, a blade, uh, a blade juggernaut just got into the base. I don't know how he got in. So that was a bit strange. Where's that lever gone to there? Right, to be an engineer, let's have a look now. Now I've got so much stuff on me, I really do need to get rid of this. Vegetables, let's put the vegetables away. It's always a question of getting stuff, and I've got no good sort of automation yet in terms of sorting stuff out. Right, carrots are in here. I will put the other seeds into here because I'm putting seeds and stuff like that in there. Actually, there's not seeds. We'll put that in there like that. So maybe I've got enough space now to do the um, that quest because I think I get a reward. Uh, I think we get a loot bag, don't we? Yeah, loot chest, yes. Claim that. Done that. So that now opens up coke oven. So we've got to make 27 coke oven bricks. And basically, that's a lot more grinding of stuff, isn't it? So, look for the coke oven. Coke bricks, I think, are. Can't see that, 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 that one. So, basically, it's four, eight clay, and some sandstone. Sandstone's no problem, but the clay is basically dirt. So that'll make three. So, we need uh, 27, nine times eight. which is 72, isn't it, for my arithmetic from my early days gone back. So I've got enough dirt to do that. So basically what I've got to do is simply grind that away. So I think the priority will be to get it set up to use the windmill. Let the windmill do the grinding so I don't have to stand there like an idiot uh, using up health doing that. I think that's probably the best solution for that. But of course it's outside, so it's a little bit dangerous. Um, Let's open this up, loot chest anyway. Oh, I've got two chests, okay. Actually, that's oddly enough, it saves me a bit of effort. I've got no space in the base, I've got to have to find a better solution for doing my uh, storage. But for the time being, I'm gonna put them down like that. Because I want to remove this one from here, even though I've got, I can actually fill these up quite happily and take the stuff out of them, even with the stuff on top of it, no big deal. Well, I suppose I'd better go on and do the uh, oak crucible next, actually, to be honest. That's why I made the um, the living wood in the first place, wasn't it? Where has it gone to? There we are. So we need three of those uh, to make the crucible, because that completes another quest. Uh, so let's make the oak crucible. So I've got lots to do between episodes. In fact, I've also been given this tip, both by Creator Aid and by Psycho, 
Nightmare Mangle to make a note crucible. So let's do it. And that one. And sure enough, I can make six of them. I'm only going to make one because I probably would like to keep those planks, but I'm not 100% sure. If we, maybe we can maybe put them together again. No, nope. oh, yes, we can. We can make them back to a plank if we need it that way. Which is good. So, so that will complete the quest. So let's go and claim that quest as well. So I think that one was probably better with mods, isn't it? No, it's not better with mods. Which one is it? Getting freedom and stuff and things. Oh, yeah, there's a zombie pigma right in front of my nose. Don't like that very much. Where's the oak crucible gone to? Tinkering is not. Well, hold on, let's just double check down the bottom if anything's opened up. Nope. I can't. I'm being blind. Hold on. Stuff and things. Nope. No. That's very strange. Ah, here we go. Oh yes, of course. So we get a choice reward. Well, we'll take the loot chest. Claim. Done. Because the others are fairly cheap now. And that's opened up lava crucible. So we make it. Then we'd have to make a crucible. And I suspect it's going to be a harder recipe than anything else. Where is it gone to a stone and fire crucible? A crude crucible. So it'll, of course, it'll be on. Oh, it's only porcelain clay. That's just basically just two more. Well, that's not so difficult to do, strangely enough. Let's put the crucible down somewhere. Because, of course, well, you can obviously make water in this thing as well. So let's put it down. Oh, there we can put it. Let's put it down. Oh. Right, I've got a little of flux because I've got the wrong thing in my hand, but that's for opening that chest. So I guess in this case, all we need to do is put something in it, like apples. I think apples may do. Nope. Maybe it's just melons. I haven't checked, to be honest with you. So should check that, shouldn't we? Maybe it's leaves. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> I don't know. Let's have a quick look at the book. Let's have a quick look at JN. Yeah, tells me what it does. Uh, that's a bit. Jungle Crucible, Oak Crucible. Let's have a look at the uses of that one. Click here and then type uses. So, ah, uh, basically leaves, isn't it? And I had actually got plenty of leaves because I've been getting them from here. In fact, what I've been doing is turning most of those into dirt. And the same with the apples. I'd be most turning most of those into dirt as well. Just can't get around that, can I? I'm going to have to get rid of this zombie pigment one way or another. Let's try again. So that'll turn into that'll turn into a bucket of water now. It's a bit strange because those buckets of water I got, oh, those bowls of water I got as the reward, have now gone. In fact, what I'm going to do is something slightly different now. Actually, there's a bad place. I'll put those in a sensible place. Those in there, and those will go into there because it's full. Let's put them in here for the time being. Um, I know what I want to do. I want to make a glass bottle. Have I got any sand in there? No. Have I got any glass in here? Actually, oh, maybe I didn't smell it. Maybe I thought I smelled some glass in preparation for this one. I've got some sand that's going to be in here. Oh, I've got three pieces of sand, which is just exactly what I need for three pieces of glass. Put those into the furnace. You'll notice I'm using uncompressed coal. Now, uncompressed coal is just basically coal, I think. Crafted like that, you get uncompressed coal. And each one of these will actually do two... Um, well, it'll do two pieces of glass, so three is a bad number, but it doesn't matter that much how it happens. But what I can also do is I can... Put some lead down like this and it'll do it'll do a lead one as well but of course you can't take it out fast enough right three and it's actually it's a standard oddly enough it's a standard bottle recipe i get three bottles what i wanted to do with those 
So you go downstairs with those. And I don't know if this is going to work or not. Just have a quick look around. I still got that fire. Whatever it is, that mob is really not very nice. But I've got the this experience pile on here as a reward. I think we could put those in here like that. And sure enough, they've actually filled up. I've actually got three three's worth, so that's not bad. So now I've got three bottles of XP already to do use when I want it. So I'm going to make some more of those as well between episodes. And I think we'll put that in here for the time being and try to remember where I put it. So anyway, that's it for this episode. I didn't show you where I was going to go and have a look up, uh, but I've made a very, I made a route all the way up to the roof. So I was going to show you that, but we'll do that next time. So until then, bye for now.